Hey Cloud Gamers, today I am having a look at the best way to play Stadia on Google Chrome. Now, first off, I'm looking at the 1080p footage here with the standard H.264, which is what you get on a Mac by default versus VP9, which is the default on most PCs. Now you can force VP9 on Macs if you have the Chrome extension or if you know the developer tools, and you can see here why you might want to do that. Even with the base H.264, it looks okay, but there is quite a fuzziness around the characters, and the color contrast does not seem to be as bright. As a VP9, you do seem to get a bit more smoothing and also a bit more depth in that contrast. It does seem subtle at this point, but if you look at the way the terrain loads and the distance drawing, you do seem to get a bit better on VP9. And as we pause on the backpack here, you can see that there is a lot better detail and colouring on the VP9 side than the H.264. And as we move around, the VP9 does give a little bit smoother, although you do get a little bit of load in. On the H.264 side, it just kind of remains a bit flurry. And as we look at the distance drawing here on the buildings, it's pretty close, but that wider range of contrast does look better on VP9. But the best way to play is actually to force a higher resolution, so even if you only have a 1920x1080 monitor, it is actually a lot better to force the higher resolution here. Now, it really depends on what machine you are running on, whether you force 1440 or the full 4K. You can see here, looking between the two versions, that it is a massive improvement over the standard version, but there's not a great amount of detail difference between the 1440 and 4K. Obviously if you're on a 4K screen then you may see that difference a bit more, but as we freeze here and look at the building, we do see a little bit more colour range on the 4K and some nicer shading, but otherwise the quality looks pretty good on both 1440 and 4K. So as we come into the helicopter here, we're going to look at some just 4K on its own footage. Now because I'm using a MacBook Pro, which is a high-end MacBook Pro, it does struggle to keep that forced 4K, and I have to have nothing else running to do so. And it's a very good job I have an external recorder now, as that was not possible for me to record 4K and stream it. You can see that the FPS, even in the stream, kind of jumps around. But you'll notice that as I move around, with the 4K version, it does seem less smooth, so it's definitely dropping down to that 30 frames per second, although the stream says 60. And it does make it quite jerky moving around, as you'll see when I jump out. However, if you have a more powerful rig, then the 4K in the browser does look extremely good. Look at the detail on that terrain there as I'm falling, but you do see a little bit of that stutter in the frames as I'm moving around. And that'll become more apparent when I go back to the side by side in a second. But I'm going to move over to the 1440 on its own. And you'll see that it's quite hard to tell the quality difference because obviously it's still downscaled to the 1920x1080. But you can see that much greater colour depth. And straight away you can see that it's nowhere near as jerky. In fact, it's pretty smooth. And you do see a little bit of frame drops on the stream side as you're moving around. But as you'll see, especially when I jump out of the helicopter, that quality is there and the frames are a lot higher. And look at that draw distance, it's far superior than the 1080. And if you also look at the data usage, the 1440 here is using a third of the data of the 4K. And again, you can see that quality there of the terrain and how much smoother it is just moving around.
As we go side by side for the landing, that kind of jerkiness on the 4k becomes a bit more apparent, especially as we see running up the hill here. So really the best way to play on Chrome is by forcing 1440 using the VP9 codec. And if your rig can handle it, then it is worth trying to force the 4k. But using a Stadia Plus plugin is a surefire way to get the best experience out of Stadia. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across cloud gaming platforms. And I will see you next time.